tell me about what the scam is and what do you want the public to know about this? Sure. So um, we got wind of um, a gentleman setting up a table up at the Department of Family Services. Um, and it, it, the interaction was getting personal information from individuals, very personal information, social security numbers, EBT information, mm. um, uh, Medicaid information, photo ID. Um, and they were in turn going to get a free phone and or a tablet. Um, so he was removed from the premises that was taken care of. Um, another individual was recently at the Ted Strobel building. Um, people don't always know, really, you know, it's something free, right? And, and that's going to our senior population, um, our low income population. Mm -hmm. um, you know, un unfortunately, that's what they want to hear, you know, like they can get something that's not going to cost them so much. But um, fortunately, offices like mine, the Office for the Aging, we have the legit programs. But when you're, you know, when you're at when you're at DFS or when you're at the Ted Strobel and, and there's somebody there saying, give me your information, I'm going to give you a free phone. Mm -hmm. um, that could, that's a big thing. And, and, and it's something that draws people in. Um, unfortunately, uh, this particular situation has scam written all over it. We did uh, background research um, on the internet to try to look up the company, to try to look up the phone numbers, and it all kind of just leads to a dead end. Um, one of the big uh, um, light bulbs that went off was on this quote unquote business card that this woman was handing out. Uh, the income limit for this program is $62,000. Um, that is not an income limit for any low income program um, th that is available. Uh, you know, the, their Assurance Wireless, SafeLink, those are two um, uh, uh, programs that we work with personally in the Office for the Aging who legitimately will give a phone to someone who is of low income status, um, a senior. This is not a good thing, what, what, what is happening with, with these people. And um, we do know that people have followed through. They have given them the information. Um, we know of at least two or three people that were up in Liberty that gave them the information. Um, I'm not sure how many here in Monticello, um, but I, I know that there were a few. Um, and unfortunately, the people that gave them the information aren't going to know what's going to happen um, until it happens. You know, and, and then it's too late, and then 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 their bank account is is emptied, or um, there's so many there's so many things that could be, you know, fake IDs, mm. fake passports, all of this information that they that they gave uh, to these people could be used for a large number of not very good things. So, um, if anyone is ever uh, approached by anybody. Um, in a parking lot of Walmart, Aldi's, ShopRite, which we know happens, uh, please just d d give them no information. Um, again, like I said, the IRS will never call you. Medicare will never call you. Social Security will never call you. Any correspondence from them is going to come in, 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 the, in the mail um, in the form of a letter. So anytime, uh, you know, it, and there may be a legit, a, a legit program out there that you're, I'm not really sure, call the Office for the Aging. Um, we are, we're there to let you know whether or not, you know, uh, we have the information on, on all these programs that are available um, and the ones that you should definitely steer clear from. So never, ever, ever give your personal information out to anyone, anyone. That's the bottom line.